In this short video, I'd like to quickly go through how we would make intensity measurements from images. Uh, as you can see here, I have two images. One is green, one is red. They're slightly different uh, staining protocols, but that doesn't really matter for just now. What I want to show is how you would make regions of interest and measure exactly the same area on these two different images. So the first thing I would do would be to pick a, an area. I'll use the region of interest tool up here. And let's say I make a, a box, let's say that size. And what I would do is I would find my region of interest manager, which I'll find in the plugins, tools, no, let's see, analyze, tools, ROI manager. There we are, region of interest manager. Here's my region of interest manager. As you can see, it's named there. Now, if I still, I've got that region selected. If I add it, I'm going to call this, I'm going to rename this. Right? So I'll select that and I'll rename it. You can give it a proper name. I'm just going to call it Weebox1. Okay, now sometimes I might want to specify a specific size of, uh, of box. In that case, I need to find the specify option, which I think is an edit selection specify and I'm going to here specify a box which is let's say 100 by 100 that's a decent size box okay well, I'm going to move that to say to let's say somewhere here in this image I'm going to add that and I'll select that and rename it and we'll call it 100 by 100 box. Okay, so now I've got two boxes. I've got my wee box one. I've got my 100 by 100 box. Now we want to see what is the intensity within this box. I go to my analyze, set measurements, and decide what I want to know. So the area of the box, that might be helpful. Shape description, no, it's a square box. The mean intensity value could be useful. Uh, the integrated density, that's the total amount of fluorescence in that box. We don't need the perimeter. The modal gray value could be useful. That's the, the most common value within the, the intensity range. Um, I think let's just go with that. Okay. Oh, minimum and maximum gray values. That might be quite useful. Okay. I'm going to measure the image. Okay, and I've got my numbers. Okay, fit in this little box. What if I wanted my 100 by 100 box? Here yeah, I've activated that box. I'll do measure. Okay, here yeah, I've got my numbers for that box. If I wanted to know the values in exactly the same area in the other image, then I'll activate make sure that's my active image by clicking on it choose we box one and it puts this box in exactly the same place I will measure that I go with my 100 by 100 box and measure that and here we have now the values for these four boxes two different images we know that if we compare the values in this box with this box then they're in exactly the same place in exactly, uh, and exactly and are exactly the same size we have the size of the box here so it's this one and this one obviously the same box here's the mean intensities here's the uh, the value which is most common uh, in in that intensity range is the minimum values and maximum values and the integrated in, in integrated density which is the total amount of fluorescence in each of the boxes